Attach the tube flow meter to the center hole on the quarter inch NPT adapter. Ensure that the needle valve is turned fully clockwise into the closed position. Hand tighten the unmarked side of the adapter to the sampling outlet. Attach the filter cassette side marked NPT to the adapter end marked Attach Filter. Verify that the number on the filter cassette matches the number you wrote down on the data sheet. Attach tubing to the outlet side of the filter cassette. Nothing should be attached to the upper back hole of the flow meter. The flow meter should be leveled to obtain a proper reading. The first sample will be the oil aerosol and particles test, which is captured on the 47 millimeter filter cassette. Sample times vary from 10 minutes to 23 minutes, depending on the purity class selected. Please note that the filter cassette must remain in place during the other two tests. If the water and oil vapor tests combined run longer than the oil aerosol test, make sure you add the additional time to the data sheet. It is helpful to make a note of the actual clock time you begin this test to make it simpler to determine total minute sampled. Make sure the needle valve on the tube flow meter is closed. Slowly open your system valve to obtain the flow rate on the filter flow meter. Flow rates vary from 32, 50 to 140 liters per minute. Adjust airflow to obtain the correct flow rate for your purity class and begin the first timer. If you're unable to obtain the recommended flow rate, then take the required air volume from table one Divide it by the flow rate that you can obtain, and this will give you the correct sample time in minutes. The formula is noted in the sampling instructions. Turn the tube flow meter needle valve counterclockwise and adjust for a reading of 4 liters per minute. Allow air to flow for 2 minutes before inserting the detector tube. Be prepared to break the tips of the detector tube in a safe manner, such as over a trash can, to catch the broken glass tips. Insert the tip of the tube into the smaller of the two holes of the tip breaker and apply sideways pressure until the tip breaks. Break both tips of the detector tube. Please use caution when breaking tips, inserting the tube into the tube flow meter and handling the tube. Immediately insert the tube into the white tubing on top of the flow meter, with the arrow pointing away from the flow meter. Rotate the tube until it reaches the fitting inside the white tubing. Adjust the flow rate to 4 liters per minute if needed and begin the second timer. Sampling times vary from 2.5, 12.5, 25, and 50 minutes, depending on the outlet pressure and the anticipated dew point. At the end of the sampling time, close the needle valve, remove tube, and immediately read and record the number associated with the color change of the tube on the data sheet. Recap, apply netting, and place the tube in the pre-addressed return mailer. Please note if sampling with the 20AP tube, it has three scales. Use the scale that is closest to the color change, making sure that you circle which scale you used on the data sheet. At any time during the test, if the color changes to a grayish, reddish, brown, and reaches the last line on the detector tube before the end of the allotted time, stop the test and record the number associated with the color change on the tube and note the length of time the test actually ran. Remove both tips from the oil vapor tube by using the larger of the side holes on the tip breaker. Apply sideways pressure until the tip breaks. Always use caution when breaking the glass tips. Insert the oil vapor tube by adjusting the white tubing on top of the flow meter. The arrow on the tube should point away from the flow meter. Adjust the flow rate to 4 liters per minute and begin the third timer. Depending on the purity class you have selected, this test will take either 10, 30, or 300 minutes. At the end of the sampling time, remove the tube, cap both ends of the oil vapor tube, 
apply the netting and place tube in the pre-addressed return mailer. Record the flow rate and sampling time on the data sheet. Only one blank needs to be submitted per batch of samples taken on any given day. Simply break both tips off an oil vapor tube marked blank. Cap both ends and note on the data sheet and place in the return mailer. You can now close the system valve. Note the full length of time for the oil aerosol and particles test. In some cases, it will simply be the time you set for the timer. In cases where the other two tests ran for longer times, add the additional time. This is when it's very helpful to know the actual clock time of when you began the first test. Replace the caps onto the filter cassette and place into the pre-addressed return mailer. Neatness, accuracy, and that your handwriting is legible. Place the data sheet into the return mailer. The sample should be returned to Trace Analytics Laboratory for analysis. Please note that if your sample included a test for oil vapor, the sample must be received in our laboratory within 15 days of taking the sample. But in all cases, it is best to return the sample promptly. They can be mailed or shipped via UPS, Federal Express, or the carrier of your choice.